Hello everybody, welcome back to Mr. P channel. In this video I'll show you shortcut keys of a desktop hub app that you need to download if you own a deck station and I'll show you all these shortcut keys and what they can do for you to improve your deck station experience. If you own a deck station, um, you one of the first apps you need to download is a desktop hub desktop hub will give you a lot of new features for a deck station and it gives you a shortcut case it will enhance your experience of a deck station even better there is a free version uh, if you go to a uh, google play store <coughs> and download desktop hub <coughs> if you download it it's for free but you get all the features there is a well, you need to do a payment, which is not big. I don't. I think I've done like two pounds or something, and they give you option for desktop enhanced. That option will give you all these nice keyboard shortcut keys. <clears throat> it will be obviously disabled. When you enable it, you need to go. It opens this window, and you need to go to desktop hub, desktop enhanced, and make sure this one is ticked. When it's all done and it's ticked, go back all the way to the beginning and click on the desktop enhanced. So let's start with this key is keyboard shortcut keys just to make sure that the game is fair and you don't think that I'm using something very fancy keyboard like for example this one which is a Logitech uh, K850 it's a wireless Bluetooth keyboard that I can connect to multiple free devices um, I'm gonna use an old keyboard which is wise USB keyboard I paid about 50 pence for this keyboard and I'm gonna use the old style mouse, USB wired mouse. I won't gonna use my ordinary, well, which one I'm using all the time, the wi uh, wireless Logitech uh, mouse, which is come, came with that keyboard <coughs> that I showed you earlier. <coughs> so let's jump in. Enable keyboard functions. What that does, if you take this off, it will disable all these four, four settings. So if it's off, you won't gonna get these four settings active. If you turn it on, the following four settings will be active. So first one is disable shift space language switch. If you type in gonna deck station in multiple languages, let's say you type in Russian and English, you don't wanna accidentally press shift and space and it's change the language back and forward. You want that to be by default whatever language you set up in the first place. So you turn that on and it disables this language switch function. Replace Meta E with File Explorer. Before I show you this, uh, I would like to point out that the word Meta is basically equals to Windows key. Windows key on a standard USB keyboard is this button. This, the the flag, the, the Windows flag. This is the, what this app tells you that is Meta key. And if you are Apple user, you need to press Command key. But to be honest, I don't think why Apple user would use Deck Station. Because come on, you use Apple, use your crappy iOS. We're gonna stick to the best one, Android. So um, replace Meta E with File Explorer. So if I click Meta E at the moment, it opens my default File Explorer. If you don't have this ES File Explorer Android app downloaded it will open your standard Samsung file explorer, which is this. So if I press Meta E, it opens a file explorer. But if I'll turn that off and I press Meta E, it will open the default email app. So which one you prefer? Do you would like to have Meta E to open email or explorer? I like to keep explorer because it's a similar functions or similar shortcut key for Windows. So every time I press Meta E, it opens my default uh, file browser. Next, will alternative start menu. So um, on here, down the bottom, on the left hand side, if you click here, it opens your start me menu, basically app draw. But if you click Meta key instead, it opens desktop hub enhanced start menu. And what it does is gives you extra options here, like go to File Explorer, Documents, Pictures, Play Store, System Settings, and Power Off the Device. And if you combine this with this option, Alternative Start Menu Search Auto Launch, what that does, if I'll tap on this, and I'm gonna write Feedly, for example. So right now, uh, 
I have three apps selected. If I'll type the next letter, only one app left in the search result, that app will automatically be opened. So let's say I want to open, uh, I don't know, let's say drive. So type drive. And now, obviously, there is loads of options for you to choose. So you need to manually select the app. But for example, if I want to open files, go, files, go. Only one app left and that app will be automatically opened. <coughs> Next option is system keyboard shortcut keys. System shortcut is meta slash. This opens you a standard shortcut keys that Dex Station provides out of the box. So they're just the standard ones that meta L Windows L to lock the device. Notification like meta and opens a notification draw instead of you going and hunting it down at the bottom. So meta N and gives you notification. Full screen. Basically, if I open the app, let's say I open emails, full screen, I need to press meta up. So I press meta up, this app goes in a full screen mode. If I press meta down, the app goes in a window mode. Window snap left and window snap right. Again, windows or meta key and left, snaps to the left. And if I press window key and right, the app goes all the way to the right. So let's say you would like to multitask a couple of apps. So for example, if I open, <coughs> let's say um, uh, Excel or let's say um, the data spreadsheet app. So, and you have an emails. So let's say, let's minimize emails, make it a bit smaller. So let's say email should go to a right and this should go to a left. So right now, as you can see, I have two apps side by side in the exactly 50% in the middle. So I can use both apps same time, do whatever I need to do on the left app and then move it to the right and vice versa. Browser, or oh, that's self-explanatory, meta B opens a browser. Straight away opens to a browser and meta C opens the contacts. Obviously, if I'll press meta C, you'll see my contacts. I will leave that. Um, <coughs> I'm not gonna show you that because it's going to show a personal information email meta e but if i have this one as you can see this one is turned on so and meta e won't function but it'll turn it off it will default to meta e being email finder so windows f opens your finder so we can find here uh, files go oops misspelled it searches for apps and names of the files that have the specific <coughs> letters. So let's say if I want to find Feedly, it finds Feedly and I can launch app from here. <coughs> Excuse me. Lock the screen is self-explanatory. It's just going to lock your text station. Maps, again, if I press uh, Meta M, it's going to open Google Maps. I'm not going to show you because you're going to see my location then. Notifications, I already showed you. It's Meta M, it shows you notifications. <coughs> Music. Meta P, so basically Meta Play, it gives you options which app you want to use to listen to your music. I'm not selected either of those to be a default, so I have options, but let's say if you listen on a Spotify, your music, Meta P automatically opens Spotify app. Quick settings, Meta Q opens the quick settings menu, as you can see here, so I can change Bluetooth, Torch, um, Data, mo Mobile Hotspot, and all the other features instead of going here here and click on this button quickly meta q and then finding your necessary settings there messages again meta s will open the sms messaging app i'm not going to show you that um because it's going to show my messages and a close app is basically like alt f4 on windows so i click these two buttons app is going to be closed instead of me going and hunting for x button quick two button press closes the app Next thing is hub keyboard shortcuts. Hub shortcuts is again meta and slash to the left. It basically opens this page with all your shortcut keys. So let's say you can remember shortcut key. You just press these two buttons and give you a quick tour of all the shortcut keys you probably forgot or you need to know. Toggle keyboard functionality, meta alt escape, meta alt escape. So um, keyboard disabled, so what that does is turns this option off. If I click again 
and escape as you can see this one went on black uh, title bar overlay not a zero it should put uh, an app first one need an app in a full screen mode as you can see on the top there is a bar going across to be honest I don't know why there should be use of this I don't know I've never used the shortcut B key so it's maybe used uh, it will be any use for you I don't really use that much accessibility settings it goes basically to accessibility settings that I showed you earlier so if you want to quickly change something here you can use that uh, calculator is standard opens a calculator and if you own a keyboard with the num numpad P keys on the side you quickly can punch in the number and do all the calculations here minimize all uh, let's say if you have a couple apps open meta D will minimize all the apps um, next one is run another instant so let's say you have as you can see here two email so you wanna open both emails same time so what you do is you need to press while this app is active meta alt and D is open the same app again so if you use these two shortcut keys that I showed you previously snap to the right and snap to the left you can use use both email apps uh, both email accounts using same app at the same time galaxy apps is basically meta G and opens your galaxy app app store device um, health so meta H opens your um, Samsung health app but for some reason it's just minimized automatically and I'm having trouble of running it so it's not supported on deck station yet <coughs> device info opens a basically a standard about the phone information page if you want to quickly see what your serial number or model number of your device is quickly press it and you're gonna see all the information here keyboard settings meta K opens the keyboard settings so if you have anything any settings that you need to change with the keyboard instead of going through all these palaver for settings and finding languages and then keyboard just a quick meta K and it's open straight away in the keyboard settings terminal meta R and this opens termux terminal which you can do in here you can do loads of things that you want for example all these all these fun things I'm not used that uh, before so I don't know exactly how it's working but if you are a big a geek about all this thing it's gonna help you out and meta R will open this terminal and I'm gonna use Windows X to close this app <coughs> Telephone Meta T will open the standard telephone and D pad or dialing dialing pad. So if you will need to call someone, so here we are. You can start typing the number and press call, and you make a call for phone speakers. Voice assistant is Meta V. It will open your Google Assistant. So Meta V. And hold on. Let me first of all turn the turn box off. Meta V. As you can see. Here we are, but what's the time now? It's As you can see, um, how far is the moon? The moon is three hundred and eighty-four. You can find all this if the Google Assistant is your basic personal assistant and you're using a lot. Meta V will help you out in a big way. Just press Meta V and ask anything what you like. Um, w and Meta W will open a WhatsApp app. Uh, Meta Y will open a YouTube app. Sorry about it. This keyboard is a bit too old to do all these, these shortcut keys. Power menu, so Meta Escape is going to give you option to restart or um, turn off a device. Secure folder, obviously if you are using a Samsung S8, S8 Plus or Note 8 and you have an option for secure folder where you keep all the different files and apps that you don't want anyone else to have access. It's like a password behind the password behind the password um, this combination of the shortcut keys control meta E will open secure folder device maintenance is funny thing about this is control delete as you expect on Windows it opens the device maintenance page and you can see battery storage memory and all the other information about your device and do a bit of tweaking if your phone is running slow Device settings, control shift delete. So control shift delete opens device settings. So basically it's just a settings menu. And the last one is, uh, oh no, it's not the last one. Um, developer settings, control shift and end 
opens developer options if you actually enable them they will open up like in by using these combinations desktop hub control shift escape opens a desktop hub app and <coughs> I'm going to use these two combination keys that I showed previously to quickly open the shortcut key page. Um, increase brightness, control shift and plus, and control shift and minus will decrease brightness. I hope you can see this, like the screen is going darker or, or brighter by pressing these two keys. Blue light filter adds a, like a blue overlay, which is easier for your eyes if you're reading a text in a dark room, dark environment, late night. So control shift and zero. For some reason this one never working for me so i don't know why uh, but this is never working for me and a shift space filter is basically uh, this option will turn off this i am um, this setting zoom in and out uh control alt and plus control alt and plus so as you can see i'm zooming in and i'm zooming out and the last one is pinch to zoom, which is never works for me. I don't know why, but it's never working for me. So let me turn all these off. So let's say open, um, I don't know, let's say Samsung Dex Wiki. So the idea is if I pinch to zoom, um, the text should go bigger or smaller. So pinch to zoom, control plus, plus control minus. So control plus, as you can see is zooming in but it's zooming in that specific area like text is, is zooming in and um, straight away in the centered mode but if you go to let's say to an image or photo or something you won't be able to properly zoom in and out or pinch to zoom and pinch to zoom out which is um, not very a useful feature so that was me covering every single shortcut key that gives you a more experience on a deck station if you are a deck station fan and you want to use it even much much well even more and you um you want to get even more experience and more future rich um use of a deck station go and download this desktop app desktop hub app make a payment do a donation get all these features turn them on it will help you a lot thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next video Bye bye